approve the minutes from our October meeting. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Second. Perhaps. I'll second. Is that the second? Uh, I'll second. I think. I think <laughs> That's a, timing. I know. Yeah, I was calling him a quack. That was great timing, Greg. <laughs> no. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Does anybody have any change in timing? No. Let's go. All right. Everybody, all in favor? Yep. Um, so we're going to jump right over to uh, Kate and. Uh, you have uh, some stuff in your packet to look at to go along with that. It's been a little while, so I've seen you guys, but I'm actually up here in a different role. So, um, so not the back to the base specific. Um, so my colleague and predecessor, Greg Rivara, he's retiring at the end of the year. What? So um, I'm kind of taking over the, the town contracts um, that he once managed. So uh, part of that transition, I just kind of decided it would be great to take a page out of the East Hampton Town shellfish hatchery. What we used to do was create much more elaborate annual reports. Granted, that was technically a town department, so a little bit different. But I thought it would be great to just come to the town and talk about what we actually put in the water and let you guys know. <laughs> so that's what I'm kind of here to do. Is, is, okay. Yeah. Um, so you'll see that uh, the first, I think the first attachment I had printed out was just 2023. And the reason um, for that is because with Bill Payne's help, um, got the check cut. Actually, finally, um, we received it November 5th this year for our 2023 planting. And it was just earmarked from your funds back right. in 2022, actually, it was an agreement, uh, the 12,000. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. And so then a breakdown of, of what that paid for. Um, so 25,000 total oysters were planted in West Neck and Cockles and 700,000 clams um, were also planted throughout Town waters, uh, West Neck Harbor. Specifically, where? No. <laughs> well, it's funny you say that. There's some different opinions about this. You know, again, my experience in East Hampton, it was a town department, as I said, but it was similar in that it's, you know, both of these programs are funded by public monies. So the approach that we took in East Hampton was to publish the seeding maps every year. Um, and with the sharing the knowledge that, you know, the plants that are planted, it takes three to five years until they're harvest size, like, so plan around that, you know, or like oysters two to three, you know. Um, there's some opinions here on the island that perhaps that the specific um, locations should not be shared so publicly, but maybe that's something that we can have as a discussion. <laughs> so, um, let them find it themselves. So it's funny. There's that was one of the opinions I got talking to someone was like it would take the fun out of it, <laughs> um, like the hunting aspect of. Technology. Yes. <laughs> I thought that was really interesting. This side finds that very funny. Um, but yeah, it does list so the 700,000 clams, um, West Neck Harbor, Creek and Bay, Dickerson Creek, Cockett Creek, Coppice Harbor. And a lot of these sites within each of these water bodies, we do seed every year. There are, there's one site in particular that many people confide in me is their secret spot. It's like, that's where everyone goes because that is where we've been planting for over 20 years. <laughs> so just evidence that the program works, honestly. Um, I have to say, this is the secret spot where I was swimming, but I didn't know that the clam <laughs> right, right, so like, the maps. I said, yeah, that's my <laughs> usual swimming thing. I'm like, this dock right here with the blue. It's like, <laughs> yeah, so I was like, that's, that's pretty like, cool. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I mean, I was in a suit. I wasn't clamming, but that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, just letting you know, so 2023, that's closed out, but just letting you know what, what was planted, what was put in the waters. Uh, and so then 2024 is now completed as well uh, for our enhancement uh, program. So this year we planted 37,000 oysters in total. Um, and it's interesting, just a side note, um, last year and this year we've been planting um, oysters much earlier. Uh, we've been having 
such success in our grow out system with, with the oysters and they've been growing much faster because of warming waters, but that's actually great because it allows us to get them out of the system earlier in the year and then make more space for the clams and then we can, can kind of thin them out in our system um, so that they grow a little bit bigger as well. So that's all been great. Um, so yeah, the oysters run in Cockles Harbor, West Neck Creek and Mananta Creek this year and then 540,000 clams um, were planted. Same thing, West Neck Harbor, Creaston Bay, Dickinson Creek, Manassas Creek, Cobbins Creek, Gardner's Creek, Crab Creek, and Cockles Harbor. And do all of this work with um, either bow, pain, or bunch of bush, or, or rosy. Um, and I love getting their feedback as to like trying different sites as well. Um, and so yeah, so now is the conversation of like, I don't know where we want to go with this. I know that in um, the 2022 um, agreement, you kind of plan to pay for 2022 and 2023 with the WPI monies that you had earmarked. I don't know if any conversation happened about paying for this year. Um, I don't know. Um, well, so that's kind that of where, yeah, no, I know. That's uh, kind you of know, and what, that's what happened in the past <laughs> it used to be a budget item, I think, in, yes. in the town budget. Yeah. And, and then, then all of a sudden, when Jerry was trying to think of doing things like, like that, budget, yes. <laughs> well, all of a sudden it became our deal. Yes. Um, which, you know, so, it's, a, it's a great thing to help the water. I mean, by, by the procedure, you know, but somebody, let's see, <laughs> uh, you know, we would like to, you know, request that, that you know, what it's for, it's for, you know, uh, agriculture, and, uh, right. and here's the money that we would like to have, this quantity. Yeah. Uh, and then, so we get that letter. I presume that would be an adequate right. thing for us to, to be... Uh, so Greg uh, had started working on a memorandum of agreement for 2023, and then he said it just didn't go anywhere. I, I don't know. I love him so much. I don't want to like talk negatively about him, but I think he was a little bit retired. A little bit retired. <laughs> You're talking about me. Yeah, Greg. Greg, goodbye. No, yes. So um, that just kind of petered out. Um, so that's why I'm kind of up so, here. So is, is it still around twelve thousand dollars, or? Like whatever you want to give us, basically. Yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> the value always ends up exceeding what we receive, but that's kind of. Oh, could you craft something that would, <laughs> you know, spell out what it is that we're receiving and it yeah. be valued at? Yes, and so that's actually what I used to do for East Hampton as well: is take averages of like price averages from commercial hatcheries um, for each like size grouping of like seed and then kind of estimate, you know, what was actually planted and like that, that commercial value of what was planted. And so I can definitely do that. Um, if you want me to work on that for this year, like in 2024, we can, or we could just say, let's well, just say, you, wanna, you, wanna, again, you need money forward. for 2025. So it's like one of those. Yes. Yes. I'd love to, what I think, all right, we need money for 2024. But then so I really I, want to. Didn't we, we didn't do 20 hundred. No, that's what I mean. It was just kind of like. Okay, all right. <laughs> I was in, right. in charge. Okay. Um, so 2024 needs to be paid for. But like what I really want to see happen is a, a conversation about how, how we can have a long term plan for this. Because, you know, keeping the program going makes sense. And then. I don't, but I don't know if it makes sense to have to have like a new memorandum every year. Does it have, or if you, that's the way you guys Especially want to do it. If it is the same thing, pretty much. That, that would yeah, be exactly. And then, you know, talking with Bo Payne, like he's, he said, like, maybe it makes sense to, you know, does it not make sense to go back to have it being a town budget line? Does it make sense to involve like more of the WMAC um, funds? Does it make sense to keep it as WQI? And, and one of the um, factors in this is like trying to avoid confusion with the, this town reseeding shellfish enhancement program with 
like the back to the base, like community engagement restoration stuff. So I think that I suspect that happened a little bit in 2023 mm. for the 2023 monies is that, you know, we received this massive amount of WQI funds for the back to the bays, like oyster reefs. That was a different thing. That was the oyster reefs and everything. Right. But so this I was, this was all. Just yeah, that you guys get it. I actually thought there was seeding in that. There yes. Was. Yes. Well, but not the reefing, but in, the, in addition to. In addition to this. Well, in addition it wasn't to, just oysters. I remember. No, you know, yeah. yep, clams and scallops. And actually, I just, because last year we had that die off in our system as well. I, no so I actually just. Um, over the last couple of weeks. That was my question I saw on there. Yeah, so I'll be back to report on that okay. project. <laughs> but um, scallops did go in the water. Um, and uh, actually 137,000 of them. Was eelgrass part of that project? It was, yeah. Okay. yeah. And we did all the things, yeah. Any success with that or? Mixed. So yeah, so like I said, I'll re I'm gonna be working on getting all of that in a presentable form um later on by the before the end of the year but um so that's where it's like i i, I don't know i think that maybe it got a little confused and i just want to ensure that that the, the well the things you know, are kept separate it, i think we know we know it's separate you know i mean and I know it. it's sort of uh you know we began to do this yeah um from my perspective it might be easier to figure out at the end of a cycle, like now for 2024, uh -huh. then you then you could quantify what exactly it is that you stuff. did, as yeah. opposed to trying to do something for 2025 that might be different. Um, is it you know it, a different size oysters just because that's the way they matured or? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or different times that we've planted them. Right. Um, I mean, you wouldn't think that a month would make much of a difference, but it does, especially in August, looking at the, the, the size, like August 1st, 40 right. millimeters, August 28th, 50 millimeters. Um, it does make a difference in those warmest months, like it's when they really grow. Do you go back to these sites and then see what's going on there? You know, they... um, That's a very interesting question. And also a conversation that I've had with Bo is like, no, typically, that's never been done. You know, I'd, be, I'd hate to keep throwing seedlings into a spot and they're just like dying there. Right. You so, know. you know, we that's where I personally rely on getting anecdotal information from people who do recreationally or commercially harvest. Um, and if they say like, oh, one spot is doing really well or, or not, you know, then we adjust our <laughs> behaviors. But no, in the past, I hate to say it, the practice has not been any kind of formal surveying. Well, that would be good but to wait, maybe wait. begin to do that. So, I mean, you know, and whether it be through some extra help from local people, you know, to say, what do you, what's your take on, on so, how it's successful? So you don't check any of the specific spots or anything? <laughs> Do you check on the eelgrass, right? You check on the That's the other program, you though. You check on the eelgrass, though. Yes. I mean, I'm just comparing, like, what other things are you follow up on eelgrass. You you just don't follow up on the shellfish. Me. On the shellfish. So, like, I can do monitor on oysters. The oyster reef. Oh, right. Oh, right. You can see, yeah. Um, right. And, but that's, that's the thing is, like, the, this shell, the shellfish that we put out for this enhancement program <laughs> is meant to be taken. <laughs> so that... <laughs> You can't really, that's interesting. Um, so that's where that, the getting the information from the community, I mean, doing it on a more formal le level, like having a little informational session of like, okay, like, but no, saying that out loud, I'm like, no, literally no one wants to tell anyone where they're getting their shit. No, they're, they're not going to give you their They're shit. not going to ever say. <laughs> Forget yeah, it. Maybe they'll tell you on the DL. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So... <laughs> Maybe that's why it's never really been done is because there's oh, wow. nothing, there's no like real true scientific way to do it. <laughs> no, even your secrets away. Exactly. <laughs> but whoever put them in there is Bo, right? Or so yeah, Bo or Butch has always gone out with one of CC member to plant. And so that's why like we always seems to me that them. that would be the way, you know, I mean, the best way to Right, and to say, to like, oh, yeah, the clams are doing well. To see not. how it's doing, you know yeah. I mean? I, that would just be good information, and then they could kind of keep it to themselves. And then, as was with clams in particular, that's 
one of the, the reasons that we breed the notata um, clams, the mercenaria mercenaria is hard clam, mercenaria mercenaria notata is that that rust colored zigzag, I think I mentioned in previous um, presentations, it's a naturally, naturally occurring, but typically in the wild, it only occurs in 1% of the population. But we specifically um, select adults with those markings so that more of their offspring have the markings and then we can then track as they get older and see like, yeah. So, so for me, actually, when we then need adults for, for spawning season in the hatchery, I'll go to these spots that we, we seed or, you know, give it a few years of like knowing like where, when we planted what, and we'll scratch myself. And if I find notatas, then I'm like, yay, these are ours, most likely. 99% chance these yeah. are ours. <laughs> How long have they been using this like striped variety like this? Oh, decades. Okay. Yeah. Are those the ones that you see in the mud along creeks or is that different? Um, no, you're thinking of ribbed mussels. Yeah, well, that's different. So, uh, yeah, no, this they look like hard clams and you would maybe not even notice, but maybe if you think about it, next time you, yeah. you're getting a clam, it down you know, it. right? Do they taste yeah. the same? They taste yeah. the same. They're delicious. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, you should have brought some. I know. Is this you another random? Yeah, well, you need a lesson on sales. <laughs> yeah, right. Hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> I also am terrible at asking for money. So. Is there just another um, random question? How long does it take to get for an oyster to get to do the fifty gallons a day? Um. So that's like a, an adult oyster. Yeah. Um. So and they're growing faster and developing faster. So really it used to be three years, but really more like two years. That's good. That's great. You know, if, if half those oysters can do that. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be pretty good. Um, speaking of the division of expense, yeah. you know, I'm on both committees. Um, it seems to me that the WMAC money should be more infrastructure oriented. If I were going to yeah. make the rules. And that we should deal with things that are going to improve the quality of the water, such as you know seeding and you know, eel grass restoration and those kind of things. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that that would be my guess. Of That's not, yeah, it's I it's personally it's think they ought to come out of the town budget, but you know. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean that too. But it's it's one way or another. It comes out of like, is it for water quality? I mean, it does help. But they're meant to be, I, I don't know, it's like also meant to keep the harvest going. I don't know. Well, there, it's a, you know, it's a two pronged benefit. Yeah, right. You know, I mean, yeah. if things are healthy and there's a good harvest, you know, that means things are healthy. Things are better, you yeah. know, right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. And I guess physically removing the, the shellfish is actually also a next step. It's like fully removing those nutrients that, as opposed to just holding on to them and keeping them there. Fair enough. <laughs> so my gut would be that he to did. get a bill at the end of the year, of, you know, of what you think your efforts took, you know, and I'm not saying we're going to pay the whole thing because if it was like, you know, but, yeah. um, but I think, you know, more than just saying, well, uh, it was ten thousand dollars at one point, you know. I think and, and then got bumped. Yeah, it was twenty twenty two was ten thousand, and twenty twenty three right. got moved to twelve thousand. Um, yeah, it's it might take some some thinking about how to. We might need to just totally restructure how like the town program is done. To be honest, um, because in the past, what Greg's done is depending on because it's fluctuated with all three towns that contribute to the program is fluctuated year to year what their budget what they budget for and what we receive and so then it's been divvied up by percentage of you know how much is received and then a ratio based on what is actually produced mm, if you know what I mean yeah. kind of um, so then if we how would we know Unless we just have like a, a standing memorandum of agreement that says target numbers for each species, 
right? So that it's like always something that will be generally budgeted for. Right. And then at the end of the year, we can say the real numbers of what was actually seeded and then the value of, of that. I, I mean, that I, might you know, be. The town certainly is happy to get a deal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, there's, there's some value into knowing that next year's covered, you know, just whatever might happen politically and yeah. here. Um, over the next uh, 12 months, you know, there's some value in, in knowing that, but if there's, a, if there's a fluctuation in how much things cost, and also and then maybe it's better to right? do it like the other way. Last year, we never would have predicted losing all of our scallops. Right. So, so then we were able to bump up the number of clams, but um, yes. Uh, okay. Thinking out loud here. This is the conversation I was like hoping we would have. <laughs> so I guess I, I would leave it to you to decide which approach is better. Um, could, you, could you define what you mean, what you were talking about as the approach? The approach, whether you pay after the, the work is done or there's a beforehand, there's a line item that they know they have $12,000 coming in for 2025. You know, and we may get a great deal, or maybe some, right. or maybe it won't be as good a deal. One yeah, year. That's kind of how it's always. A that's the way it's sort of like You win some, you lose some. Like some years you get a deal, some years you're like, a, a, again, like. You know, we, I we can reevaluate how this whole program is done. That's as well. I, I'm amenable <laughs> to whatever. You know, I, I guess people who know better about it than I would would say I mean I mean it is it is an imprecise science you, no, you don't right. know how right so, so I'm, I'm just saying it's like paying for your meal after you ate you know you you had dessert this time you know so you it cost more right. right alternatively this was one of Bo's ideas um was having like the standing amount that gets paid in the beginning of the year that's budgeted every year and then if we end up being like actually we had like a bumper crop of this the any additional funds could come from like wmec or something like that to be like yeah yeah we want those extra shellfish if we got it give it give it take like put it in our waters and then like the difference could be paid through some other but they were already in the waters by the time um they're they're in for 2024. We do it in the fall. Yeah, we do it in the yeah. I mean like the oysters are becoming are getting earlier. I don't know. What's yeah, can't yes. you just do like arrange like the same way we do when we put aside funds for the possible well relocation, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> It's usually 12, but it could be 16 and, you know, and we, well, I mean, this is for our yeah. other Yeah, thing. yeah, I was just going to ask, like, how, what like where we just have, like, a range, and, and if they don't, it's within that range, and if it's expected, the average would be, like, listen, I'm making this up 12, but we could have, like, 14, and... It, it, seems, it seems to me that, that, first of all, you talked about multi-years, and I think it should be an annual thing. Okay. I, I agree. I, I agree. So you should, you should somehow give us a statement or a, Definitely. You know, like a, a report, request every yeah, okay. year all right. to do it. And, and, and in terms of, of, the, of, of how, when in the process do we, do we pay for it, it's, it seems that it is a municipal fund, right? I mean, it's it's it, it may not be a line item budget, but this is we're we're giving out money according to it's uh, what would the mutes the, and there are rules for that. I understand. I believe that there are rules of how how towns can pay people. Is yes, no, uh, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we ought to find out what that is at you know uh, you know and then uh, you know then figure that out find out what's the what's the expected approach and then and then make get get that resolved between us and, and you guys you know it, it uh well you can't, can't you also look back to how it was done before when it was under the town budget what was the time frame when they paid it out it was in the beginning um, of the year I thought. was it i don't know thought. probably i don't know so this is where i'm like i haven't Honestly, I haven't gotten it. Obviously, a good I can, question. <laughs> I can, I should be able I, to. Okay, this is anecdotal, but yes. I do remember I did a fundraiser for this chef 
it's like just came back to me. I did a, a fundraiser. Oh, yeah. I ran for the shellfish yeah, thing. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, yeah. and I raised like eight hundred dollars. I yeah. do remember when I sent the check to Greg. It was like let's see, it was June. I sent it to him, and he said they were going to put it. They were going to give it to Jerry, put it back in the budget because I'm pretty sure he said the money was dispersed, dispersed already. Dispersed already. Okay. So I said, so well, well, but how about my this yeah. my check and what's going to happen to it? And Greg was like, well, it's just going to go back into their fund, so they'll have like extra. They'll have eight hundred dollars extra. Thanks. So I think that that's what he meant. <laughs> He meant it was already Got dispersed. It. Got it. Okay. Yes. Okay. So. So yeah. So. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I let me tell you what I have in my notes. Okay. That I think what makes sense okay. is I can start just for so we're all have like a good knowledge base to go off of. Start by doing an estimate of like the real value of the shellfish that was seeded in 2024. Mm -hmm. And that gives us an idea of like. Well, oh, that would be work. It'd be good because we haven't paid for twenty or twenty four yet. So then, sure, and also then, just then we could get an idea. Exactly, Make and sure I can continue that. doing that going forward for sure. But just because I I don't know for sure exactly how off base the twelve thousand dollars is, you know. Right. Um. So let's. I'm going to start with that, and I can send that in an email. I guess. Um, and then I have up here that like maybe the, the route is by standing MOU, I guess I mean, um, just a, like an understanding that this is the activity that's going to happen. Kind of like the one that I have for my, my well setting tank down at Dickerson Creek. It's like, yeah, it's like I got permission to have that there and we're like good basically, well, unless something do, changes. Do we have to request from the town board permission to do this or do we do it do we vet it has to have a public hearing, okay. yeah. a public oh, hearing it's you know like every yeah every yeah. time we hit we just it gets dispersed so it but, might it might be simplest to have an mou like a contract for five years at like a basic set rate and then if you have a bumper crop yes. then you come back and do an extra so you know set so you can budget for it you know 12,000, 15,000, whatever it yeah. is for the next five years, you'd set aside, have that kind of ready to go. And you know, because there's a couple things that we pay at a WQI every year. You pay for the shellfish seating and you also pay the pep dues. Like those are things that, you know, come right. out every year. So we can kind of schedule those together and kind of budget for them. But then every time you make that one payment, I don't think you have to go and do a public hearing if you've already done a public hearing for the five so years. It's only every five years. So then uh, once you've done that, then you have five years before you have to yeah. renew it. When you go to renew it, you do the public hearing. But I you're good for the next I, however many years. Yeah. yeah. And but then I'm still happy to do like an annual end of year report. Yeah. Like this no, is what we did, we should, where yeah, we did it, and this is the actual real value. Definitely want that. Yeah. I think that might be it's the simplest, most streamlined way to do it, I think. Yeah. yeah. I like it. And then, of okay. course, if something changes and you guys have an amazing year, then you can come to us and be like, hey, would you be interested in doing extra? And then we could just do a hearing for that. Or, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's kind of simpler that way. Easy. You know your base, you know what you're, you're going to get, you know what you yeah. plan for. And then, right, because that's so the thing. Should like we do a motion? For us on our side so, too. should we make a motion that we are going to underwrite this selfish seating for the next five years and that's uh, well, we could give a range. Well, no, we're, we're gonna. We don't know the amount yet we're because you haven't done the amount yet. Yeah. Right. So I'll get this to you like ASAP. This right, so why, why don't we? Why don't we wait then? Uh -huh. Till you know, we could get that because we don't between now and December, yeah. and and then right. make that motion. You okay. Know, then. It, it does seem. It or, seems. Or would it be better for the for the public hearing to get it? I'm like, going or because this is just how my brain works. We could keep 2024 as a separate payment and then do the five year thing starting in 2025 to 2030. Right. Well, no, that, that's fine. It's two public hearings. Oh yeah. So might as well. Good. Yeah. 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 Make it six years. Isn't, isn't the expense that we're paying for though? Uh, you know, whether or not the voters grow slowly or fast. The same people are there doing the task. You know, it's not like you know. Oh, sorry, we only have small clans now, and so I'm going to cut your salary fifty percent. That doesn't happen. So, are we now going to want to 
you know, give a bonus for more or less? You know, no, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't necessarily think that that's going to happen. But, I mean, there are, have been times when you somehow ended up with a, extra clams and you asked if we wanted them. Yeah, or like the, the, and also like the scallops oh, in 2022. Right. I was like, hey, like, you, yeah, the town ended up getting those like little scallop bugs bonus in, it was in like early September. And I just made the argument to put them in Shelter Island waters. Yeah, I didn't I don't think we even paid for them. No, correct. So uh, stuff like that. Well, that I, like, it seems point. weird that we're buying Greg's, oysters. Greg's you know, point me. is a good point in the sense that you're not flowers where you have to make a profit and you know your right. overhead is underwritten by the taxpayers right. essentially so you know where if you have a bonus crop it's it's bonus. to be shared amongst the common That's good first. we're on the same page <laughs> <laughs> well, man, this, this is a great day we adjourn. <laughs> before we disagree um, in any case all right so let's get how much we think is the 12,000 is it the right range or it's not the right range, right. you know? We should find that out. Yeah, that's the first step. And I'll get that and to then, you as soon as possible. Then is there enough we'll... time to vote in on the December meeting and then do what you need to do? Yeah, I'll get that to you before. Okay. Yeah, next week would Let's be my, my goal. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then we'll have some idea and then, you know, then, I mean, every, year or so if you want you, you could re reevaluate you know do costs go up that's the thing like that? yeah. i mean you know like there's infrastructure and yeah whatever you know and something might be more expensive insurance whatever you know yeah. Yeah. The, the cost of doing business yep i appreciate your take on that all right so then i should email that to all of you as a group or to jess right. or just you and jess or what's the best yeah, to, well jessica is better jess. you know and then she she's more uh she does very well the okay i'll email it to jess and she can distribute <laughs> sounds good sounds good and then we'll take it from there we talk about scalps yeah okay so it looks like it's really bad this year okay so last year was the same thing right yeah the, First Monday of November, state waters open. For the now half a dozen years, it's not been great. Remember though, last year when the county yeah. waters opened, a week later, it was good. There was actually a harvest in Cobble Harbor, right near where I planted those scallops the year before. Yeah, but my, my understanding is that some. Preseason testing mm -hmm. was done, and the bugs that were there last year, which should have matured for this year, mm -hmm. aren't. It's, mm. it's it's grim. Yeah, is what I'm hearing. We'll see, in, including in cockles, which, by the way, are the best of the of the scallops. Well, the thing is, we didn't have scallops last year, so last so right the harvest last year was from the 2022 scallops. So really, for this year to keep that going, but there we were bugs last season when yeah. they were harvesting. Yeah, and they didn't materialize. In it would it would sure. be interesting to know which size class because I'm considering like the, there's the fall spawn and the spring spawn. The spring spawn is typically a bigger spawn, but there is obviously we're acknowledging that there's shifts happening in yeah. their behavior. Um, we'll just have to see. Well, and, and the report from 2023 says there were high mortality rates in multiple batches of scallop cohorts in the hatchery production. So yeah. even the hatchery isn't yeah. surviving, right? Um, well, we got them out to our nets in Goose Creek, our intermediary. I think when Mike said that, he meant like the whole hatchery system, not literally the hatchery, but because uh, we successfully got them into our nets ah, in okay. Goose Creek and South Hold, and then and they were looking great. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden, one day, we just went to changed the nets and they were all dead. It was really upsetting. It was really upsetting. Um, uh, but um, we, this year, or this, all the course of this past year, we've been working on different, um, like genetic stocks, um, because another area where people did have a harvest was Merch's Bay last year. And so we um, played with spawning um, adults from Merch's Bay. Uh, this is where my colleague Harrison and um, 
our colleague Vasa Malam in Southampton, mm -hmm. they do like the more genetic research just on the production side. <laughs> um, so they are doing a full deep dive analysis of the genetic strains of all of these scallops, like the, there's tonic and riches, and then there's also, they were looking at scallops in Nantucket and all that, right? But what I can speak to is um, they've done much better. Um, we also, the other thing we played with doing um, is a winter spawn. We were kind of calling it a fall spawn, but it ended up being like, I think January 2nd last year, as well as our usual like May spawns. Everything was looking good. Everything still, you know, we've just planted everything. Um, so it's just, we're gonna get it's kind of so far so good kind of a thing. Uh, we planted them, what was planted in um, Cockles Harbor and West Neck is where I put them um, for this Back to the Base project uh, deliverable. Um, it was actually mixed, not by design, it was an accident by some interns. <laughs> so, but we're gonna, it'll be interesting actually to see. <laughs> So, <laughs> it was a stressful day. Um, so we actually did receive some, um, a mix of Mariches, strictly Mariches Bay um, spawn scallops, as well as our regular like the Conic Bay scallops. So it might be interesting to see like survival, be like a little mini case study. So yeah. All right. So we'll we're amenable. So cool. All right, I, I will email you the information and then happy, obviously it's, obviously I can come in anytime. It's <laughs> not a big deal for me to be here, so. All right. The recommendation is to submit both the, the kind of finances on how much it, yeah. they're worth and then also a sample five-year MOU with just like the numbers playing and then that way they can look mm -hmm. at it, know if they're right. agreeing to, and then at the meeting they can decide the number, we can fill it in and then we'll have a priority. Love that. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much, guys. Always good to see you. Good to see you. Any other questions? We're good. Okay. Collect titles. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll move on to the request for payment for Mitchell. Betty would like to handle this. I said, I said I would discuss that because I did the application. So, um, all the paperwork uh, appeared to be there. Um, you know, she got the 10,000 from um, the state and 10,000 from Suffolk County. She also had the green stamp. Um, it was also passed um, who, who does that final uh, saying it passed, the installation is passed, is that the health, the, health health department. the health department, right? So it passed the health department. That's um, who does the, that's once they, they create the green stamp thing, but you know, we, we had talked about that letter thing, you know, as an interim, right, right. but this, this is the real deal. Yeah, she had actually, it's in color, believe it or not. Yeah, I see it, um, very green. Uh, she also had a well um, put in, and um, I say she because there's two sisters, so whoever, both sisters. Uh, the well was expensive. I asked Meg about that. She said it was a long run, and also the type of uh, muck that they had to go through uses a different way of drilling. Um, so the well was uh, 12500 uh, came to a total of $49,670 at 69 cents. Uh, I had put aside the $4,000 for the well at the time of the application. So the request is for $16,000. And so that's 12 for the, the uh, install, mm -hmm. basic install and the 4,000 for the well. So I motion that we approve the $16,000 for the Mitchell installation. I'll second you. Okay. okay. I believe this was, sent out, this was sent out with the meeting invite. I, I know I looked through it and, and yeah. it, it, there was obviously it was a pretty good slug right. of uncovered requirements. So right. some of the things we may, you know, may not have 
No, we did. Um, she was pretty thorough and covered all their bases. Oh okay. yeah, no, but but I mean, you know, there. I, I think there. I have a, a a memory that that well, one of those things, and it might have it wasn't landscaping, but it was there was something where probably we wouldn't have covered. However, the rest of the project need you know used all the money anyway. Used it up so anyway because it's not even enumerated on this. On the schedule here, but uh, you know, looking at it, it was clear that that all sixteen thousand were going to be consumed on valid expenses. Right, right. That's, That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Right. I didn't see that in here, Greg, where it was planting or anything. There's engineering, um, the well. Maybe I, I could be. Sure I could well be wrong. You know. I, I, well, they didn't put it on the, you know, the expense okay. breakdown. Right. Maybe it was something in the background. That's correct. I, I don't remember. But I, I mean, I'm fine with, with, with the, the amount that you're talking about. Right. I mean, debated. it was $49,500. Right. So, Any know. further discussion? No. No. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Very good. So, and I'll let you sign it. Sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, although it says James Eklund. Oh, James God, I'll write that. You just write right No, it says Betty Bishop on that. Oh, that's not. <laughs> um, next would be uh, Greg and the right. school. Uh, yep, I, I, I sent this out. We got a, we got a little advance uh, warning on that one. Yep. Yeah, I sent that out. It's, uh, it is unfortunate they. Um, um, they have two issues that uh, restrict our ability to, to help them. Uh, the first was they're, move, they're changing the bedroom count from three to six, uh, so which means the Suffolk County obviously saying you need a, you need a, a, a larger system, and uh, they're going with a SEND 7. Uh, and then the addition that's happening, it's right now the house is about 12, is uh, 1,274 square feet and they're going to add around 800 so like it's like a almost like a 55 percent increase so uh, both of those situations mandate on, on the ia and uh, i spoke to uh mr sewell and he he says yes i you know understand they he is getting uh the county and state so at least uh and he's so uh, my my proposal would be is is that uh, because of those reasons we are not able to fund this from our our monies. Does anyone know did the proposition pass? Yes. Yes. That's good. So um, ask for what I guess. That's my motion is that we uh, say no. I would, uh, all right. Yeah. A second on that. Second. Yes. All in favor of denial. All in favor of the denial. Okay. Um, and Julia, you have Murphy. Yeah. So I apologize. I, I didn't do a digital copy. I I saw I went to the the person. So I I did a hard copy. So I just have to talk you through it. But um, it's 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 pretty straightforward. So uh, Thomas and uh, Eileen Murphy. You're at 14 Sandpiper Road, which uh, if you guys know right, right it's from a uh, Beach. Yeah, it's down in Shoreboard um, by like a block of water. Um, so they, um, their house is, is from 1961. <laughs> um, it's owner occupied. It's their second resident in their second home. It's got three bedrooms. And uh, <clears throat> in terms of who's going to be utilizing the house, it's approximately seven people, but only about 182 days uh, a year. Uh, their cesspool is uh, a single tank block, you know, block cesspool. It's a, it's a, it's a failing system. It's not an, an emergency replacement, but it is a failing system. Um, and they're getting um, a Sen 5, uh, sorry, Fuji, Sen, sorry, yes, Sen, Sen uh, five. Fuji Sen 5. They have shelter on sand and gravel um, and they did have this, you know, the block, the last pop out was 2021. And I spoke with the Murphys to make sure that they were clear. I checked with the building department first, and then I called them to make sure that they were clear that they can't, that they don't have anything down the pike for uh, building. They're not expanding. They're not doing anything. And they're very clear on that. So 
Um, so it's also an inertia overlay, which is terrific. And um, in terms of the, the nitrate reduction, it's going to produce 17.7 .7 kilograms per year. And the gallons are going to be 101,920 gallons per year. And the rate of uh, investment is going to be $68 per kilogram for nitrate in five years. So it's good. Um, so I would like to make a motion that we set aside for them base grant 12,000. Um, and 4,000 just in case they have to do the um, well replacement. As this appears right now from the engineer, no. And they're not doing the, um, a pressurized shell drainage field. So. so all in all, I'd say to put aside 16,000 for them. Second. That was quick. <laughs> Any discussion Any on discussion that? Any discussion on that? Sounds like you covered all the bases. That's good. Pretty simple, pretty Something simple. the Yankees didn't do. All in favor? Yes, I <laughs> Another frivolous expenditure. Here we are. Jessica, I have it ready too, so. Um, <clears throat> Greg had brought up uh, the proposed uh, IA forum. I have. Didn't you do that? Didn't, yeah. Wasn't it your suggestion? Yeah, cool. I, I, I actually, we've, we've all talked. I talked. Yeah. We've all talked about it. Yeah. It, was, it was a joint idea. Yeah. Well, in any case, um, do we would we want to uh, pursue that further? I mean, yeah, no, you know, yes. like a yeah. like maybe a not maybe I don't know, a library thing, but maybe a firehouse. Thing. Yeah, we we actually um, we brought it up at the Silver Beach Association Asia meeting that we board is interested in in having that discussion with somebody preferably with us <laughs> so right. well, we're already thinking it like we, our board was already thinking ahead that we wanted to do this so i think i think the right. question is whether we do it separate or have the hoa because that was the thing that you mentioned right so when you say the board you mean like the the homeowners association yeah well we just i mean we as a board were just talking about this idea that wouldn't it be great if we had a way to Get the residents of our particular community to be able to learn more about IAs and encourage. Uh, I think IAs it's two different action. things. I mean, yeah. you know, I think the uh, the next item, which we talk about at the same time, it should um, be two different things. You're saying? Well, it seems to me that you know you, you want to get people interested, and then then you want to give them the information. You know, if the if their individual con the constituencies are wanting to learn more and everything. Right. But I, I, I thought you meant this, this as the HOA leaders would invite them, right? That's what, how I understood. We're, we're inviting them to, come. you know, we're going to give them an overview of the process and, and whatnot, yeah. you know, That's and, what and costs That's what and whatnot. But I think if, if we're trying to do more of a forum for people to learn more and, and have uh, a Edward? question. Yes. On November 19th, at the Town Board Work Session, we have invited Julia Priolo, who's from Suffolk County Department of Health, to come in and do a presentation right. um, at that meeting. And so I want to make sure that all, you are all aware to come in. The topics that she's going to cover is the IA technologies and their performance, um, county standards, um, operating and uh, maintenance requirements, as well, and also grant funding. And one and of the things we want to ask her about. Sort of like what she's, she was at that other. Yes. Was the, what was the date? What was the date for that? November when we went to at uh, November 19th. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. So um, what time? one of the things at one o'clock. I have sort of board the board. And the date again? November 19th. So it's not this next Tuesday, it's the following Tuesday. Unfortunately, I won't be here. And one of the things we want to ask her about um, is we're holding off on the board discussion about changing from using the green stamp in order to release funding to what paperwork. So that's part of the discussion. So we've held off on that because we're bringing right. her in, um, but also just to sort of get, get the conversation out there again, you know, get the you know, board back up to speed on things. So that could be one thing that we can let them know about, but actually Judy has, Judy has all the uh, HOA like yes, standard, she has got a yes. template of contact. She has a con Judy, uh, Judy where I got it has from. a contact list group of all the HOA leaders. Uh, okay. emails. So we could 
She gave that's it to like me. A quick, I have it then. That's a, oh, you have it too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't that different? Okay, so that but that's a little different than yes, yes. WQI, which is the town grant. Like I, I got the impression from Greg's email that we wanted to, and this was my idea was to have them because Greg said, well, wh which is better, just have them come to like any old meeting or like a special meeting. And I, the more I thought about, it, I think. No, you're talking I, about I think I put in the. I think I put in that email though. I don't know what's good. Shares of the HOAs. Yeah, I, was so I, I, I don't disagree own. with that. I'm, yeah. you know, but I, I think where we have, I think we have two different things going on. I think you know we can give those guys an overview. I don't think we want to have installers and everybody at that meeting. No, I think no. I think yeah. going forward, if if we get they they begin to interest their members in this, then we could say let's do that thing with it. You know, get. Uh, Somebody from Fuji Clean and somebody from Hydro Action and whatever. You know? and that third company. There's now a third. Right. Uh, approved more than there were always more than. Yeah, so there's, there's three that got approved for general use, which means that any engineer can design them and then you can just install them. And then there are some that are still in the testing phase because they're not hitting that 19. So they're still troubleshooting and kind of figuring out what tweaks they need to make before they can get that general provision. So right. there's some still in the testing phase and there's some that are like, yes, you work. So be more you them we're more kind of, we're probably here more interested in the general use of <laughs> as, as that goes. And, and this is not directly with this, but just um, at, at the previous meeting, uh, I had told that the revision to the state law that we operate under was on the, the governor's desk. Right. And, and I, well, you know what? I looked at the, at the, the assembly uh, record for that, uh, that bill, and it's been sent back to committee that doesn't say anything about approval or anything. So I'm not sure that, I'm not sure what the status is there. Um, everybody that I've talked to about it's on her desk. That's the Fred Field okay. yes. one, right? It's, it, it's not, that's not what it says under the assembly notes. Yeah, so when but when we discussed it, he sent supervisors and mayors association meetings. What, what's her rumination about this? It just... Too many papers? There's <laughs> just stuff on her desk. Like, it's, it's there. The expectation is to be signed by the end of the year. And most of the um, supervisors were in favor of it. Perhaps she was the only one who was a little bit concerned about the um, committee for right. investigation. Yeah. You know, mean the one thing to provide clarification to yes. us? Yes, because it's the five East End towns plus a representative from the villages <coughs> and then five appointed people by the state. And so that's what he was objecting to. Was the law cumbersome. Law. Um, it's not quite the last one, because it'll be six, five, six, eight, 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 do we want to try and do it in December or, I mean, December gets pretty. I'm, I'm out. I'm not, I won't be yeah. at the next, I won't be at the next meeting. I know, but you said you suggested a special meeting. Yeah. And uh, you know, I just, I, you know, uh, uh, there are times when I say, okay, that might work that, you know, it, it may have read that way. Uh, uh, but it, um, that's just a, Okay, keep that back. thought on and when we decide what to do and yeah. because well, we, you know we may want to said that they can watch a, they could also watch a meeting just so i think it's more interesting to see like how we really well, no, I, 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 we're inviting them yeah. either via zoom or yeah. uh, you, know, I, you, you all saw yeah. the thing i sent out um let's just let's just decide now do I, we I want to decide now yeah do we want, you know let, let, i think we should all be there so I know, I know, but we won't. Maybe it won't be that day. It's going to go smooth, Greg. Don't worry. We're trying to pick a day now, and, and then also discuss whether it should be in our regular meeting. Which I don't think I don't think, I don't see any problem with it being our regular meeting. But um, what meeting would that be? And then it wouldn't be December because you can't be there. So then it would have to be January. And we need a very specific agenda. 
Right. I, I don't. We have a sense that we have a clear sense of. We don't have it. We don't have it worked out yet. No. So, yeah, time to first I mean, we can certainly work it out. I mean, I think it's giving them just the insight and encouragement and, you know, reasons why they should help, help do this. And, and do we want to try to sweeten the pot by, uh, I don't know, I, I use that concierge thing, but, um, but, or just try to give them guidance and, and, and say, hey, you know, yeah. and then and then say that we're we would be happy if you have people who become interested in this to set up a time when we'll do this forum where we'll have a couple of the installers there uh, or three or whatever who could answer some questions that you know maybe we can't. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, are you going to be here January? I should be January seventh. I think okay. so, second, so, second or third seventh. So we could or make it for the January 7th and second. invite them to that second. one. January 2nd. January 2nd meeting. Really? Yeah. Well, we're going right That's back nice. into this planet. Can we watch it on Zoom or not? It seems, you know, given uh, again, I'm I'm going to be I'm going to be away, and then it's going to be Christmas time. Right. You know, it's uh, so maybe January. Maybe January is too soon. Whatever that is. Second. The second piece. People are going to, you know, like yeah. these people on vacation. We're not going to make a second meeting. No. No. Right. We could maybe change that date. Do January nine. I've got. Oh. Maybe January 9th would be better. At least uh, no, 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 there's community. No, no, that's not uh, You could do the six. That's that's Mashamik's hunt, and we'll be busy that week. Very <laughs> About can we just keep it that first week in January? That's great. No, second for no, the second is the, the problem with this January the January is Thursday. that the second is the Thursday. You could do the Which 16th. One? That's the next available Thursday. You do the 16th. Uh, I don't have a problem with the 16th. Okay, Greg, 16th, probably you and Dana. Well, we're getting everything done at once here. Thanks, <laughs> All right, so. It's going to be the 16th? All right, so we yeah. would say we would invite them to that meeting. And, and the audience that you're inviting is the HOA. Uh, to, right. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, just, just to stimulate their interest in it and their desire to disseminate that to their constituents back and forth you know i mean they, right. they may come up with some great ideas well, yeah and now and, and and i also said in that wherever i i guess i didn't send it to jessica <laughs> anyway um but you know i can i'll revise the dates um, and I also suggested to them that, you know, if they had any other projects in their particular areas that, you know, whether it be drainage or something, you know, they see runoff or whatever, you know, they could also approach us for things like that. Um, but, okay, let's say the 16th. Any other dates on here that look uh, weird? Um, July 3rd looks a little weird. Yeah, that's true, huh? <laughs> yeah. I have two dates I'm not sure about, so I'll have to send Jessica a message and say whether or not I would have to go to the 17th. And uh, July 17th? Mm -hmm. That would be the next event. What's the problem? I'd be excused. Sure. Yeah, Wait, well, it's the 4th of we... July. I don't know. I mean, That's my birthday. Fourth <laughs> of July or the 3rd? Oh, no, 4th of July. I'm going to prefer. See you, Greg. July 3rd. Bye. So, so July 3rd. Have a nice Thanksgiving. Bye. You too. You too, Greg. Take care. Just the day before the 4th of July. What's, what's, I, what's I, the Okay, I mean, day? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm not go going away. anywhere. I don't know. I, oh, let's keep that. I don't, Fine. The 3rd? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. And the other one, next one would be uh, the September one. Let's see yeah, that fall. That's so, well so after we Labor Day. Oh. So that's good. That's good. Um, when's October 2nd? Today's the 1st, September 1st. October and then it's going to get 13th, late after that. Okay. So, uh, I mean, Sounds uh, right. I can't even look into the future that far. Um, but I think uh, the rest of the dates seem okay to me. Yep. All right, so just one change. Financial. 
Um, so the, do you want to approve this? Yes. Oh. Okay. Motion to approve the calendar. Sure. Yes. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. All right. Financials. Um, pretty not, not much has changed. Any thoughts uh, that we should do? We're going to know the final amounts uh, towards, uh, I guess, in January or whenever? Yeah, it's just, yeah, that's right. All right. Um, yeah. It is. We actually just went over it, like, right. yeah, two meetings ago. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've, been, I've been updating this almost every meeting, unless there's not. All right, and the only old business is sort of going to be helped by that meeting on the 19th um, of that letter we sent to the town board. So are we all good with that, the verbiage in that oh, yeah. HOA letter? Yeah, that was great. All right, yeah. so I'll change everything. I'll send it. I'll copy everybody. Today, yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, also, we... Wait, old business also. I'm going to, um, the two oh, videos, right. I actually never got to the tech person, so I am actually going to I'll copy you on it so that they know it's not bogus. <laughs> so, okay, so I'll send out those videos that we get a little PR on the, on the IAs, on the town, okay. web, on town uh, social medias. Are we giving out the full or something or not? The tribe? I haven't, we never worked on that. I mean, we have ideas, but I need that other. I mean, it, it, can't, it, it, it can't hurt to be able to do one. You know, I mean, to have something. Yeah, we just have to get it done. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, we, no, I mean, it's just, we, we came up with, it's a it's process. We we're working on it. I just need to get some more. No, more I'll material. help you if I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to, well, let's meet with Megan. We can yeah, go over. You just let me know what kind of information you want. I'll send you everything I have in okay. those areas. You know, I just need to know what you want to target in the trifold, and I, then I can give you information. Did I send you the electronic copies? I couldn't open it. I don't Oh, you can't? Oh, I can't open it. Really? You sent it to me over the summer, like September. Yeah, yeah, September. yeah. I it was after. And I got sidetracked with other things. So. I'm not blame, I'm not putting pressure on you or anything. I no, just, no, no, no. I like doing this kind of thing. Okay. <laughs> it's just, I enjoy making stuff like that, but I just need content and I have to. I don't know why you put it open. I don't know. Because remember, I asked you, I was like, could you send it to me again? And then you tried it again. I still couldn't open it. Really? So oh. I must have gotten corrupted. I don't know. That's um, is there any chance of getting some kind of an update on the school water treatment septic treatment system? I like, mean, how how we'll have a water test? It? I, I don't know. Just uh, I don't know if anybody's collecting data. I don't know. They have to. They don't, they don't have to report to the town, do they? No, but we can boil it. Maybe we can boil it. Um, there, because it's a school. They're probably in that testing program, so they probably have to test every two weeks. Um, I would assume they're in that program. I don't think that there are enough commercial systems right. being tested to be approved so, for general use yet. So that's my best guess is that you know we could foil the county for the results. So they're so testing the. Well, I mean, could we just ask the yeah, superintendent to send this? Yeah, they should. I think it's like. Once every two months, they are supposed to sample, but I'm not sure if they're in the program for that or not. Well, they're getting the water <laughs> tested on a regular basis still. I mean, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, if, they, if they they're already been... on like a potable water testing <clears throat> protocol because right. of the private well status and stuff, then that would continue. And then they should be testing the effluent from the system, I would think, once every two months. I would think they test the water monthly because they do it in restaurants monthly. Yeah. The, the potable water from the well, they'll test them. Right. Now, when they put in the new system, they did abandon the old septic system that went out of the elementary that was closest to the well. Right. So they've just moved the locations of the waste. So now it's coming out the front and the back and not in the middle, in the back by the cemetery and the well, which is right. out by the cemetery. So, so do they actually abandon those? Um, they abandoned like, like, the old as ones. I would understand that they abandoned the old ones and then they put in a gray water system for the kitchen. So oh. it's like a traditional septic tank in cesspools with the grease trap just right. for the kitchen waste. So there's no bathroom waste right. Right. in there. Um, so that kind of redirected nitrates to the IA systems instead of 
to the old system that was coming off the kitchen. Um, so who knows what kind of impact that had. Talk about business, um, and I probably should have mentioned this, but I didn't want to upset or anything. Do we still give money to the conic estuary um, yes. to do this? We have dues that we pay them. So is that the same kind of work, and is there a duplication of work there, or? No, we kind of pay like a membership fee to be part of the Baconic Estuary program. And then like the meeting that we went to was one of like the monthly meetings for CAP. Um, and they do a whole bunch of different studies. So it kind of goes towards funding a whole bunch of different things. So they're working on aerial studies for potential eelgrass areas. They're doing temperature and water quality monitoring in the whole of the Peconic estuary. So they do a much broader um, work and they're working on their kind of comprehensive plan for the estuary. <clears throat> and now they're working on starting to implement that comprehensive plan. It's all on their website, it's interactive. And they've created this very cool tool where you can go and it's almost like a GIS program, but it shows you flood maps, it shows you um, ecologically sensitive areas, it does all this stuff. So our kind of our dues kind of go into helping them keep all of that up. So there's no duplication of creating oyster reefs or no. seeding and they kind of use different types of programs. And I do have one other question. Unfortunately, Greg has left it's sort of his bailiwick, but we had talked about um, using the white wellheads to do some water testing, since we haven't answered the issue about Suffolk County water testing for all the houses, but that would give us a good indication. And now that we are in this drought, because before the concern was, well, we're so overrun with water, we don't know if it's accurate. So now we have, now we're in a drought. Before it starts to rain, should some water testing sampling be done there to see how much salt water intrusion there is? I mean, we, we sort of had the perfect scenario if had we done, had we tested originally when it was oversaturated, that would have given us one set of data, and now when we're seven or eight inches below on waterfall, rainfall. Are those the heads in Sachem Woods? No, oh, in no, white, white property, Artist the, Lane. The white property. Yeah, yeah. So we have old water tests from that property in <clears> two <throat> seasons, yeah. and it does show a seasonal salting yeah. of the wells. Yeah. So um, in like the winter, spring they were okay they were potable and then in the end of summer early fall they were not they were too right. they were salted so i think there's probably a seasonal fluctuation there but we could i don't know well i, I mean you were you just interested in that area because of well of because the whole thing was water or the yes. whole montclair thing and everybody yes. wanted to do the water yes. everybody wants to have their water test they yeah. want us to pay for it you know but like, right, but we have the new well um, in Silver Beach over by their sanctuary. Why, why don't we? We've been, I think they didn't, they just put it in. Like, did what? USGS put that USGS put that yeah. one in for us. So, um, we can ask them if we can incorporate, incorporate those. Because yes. right, that, and, and it's right by, um, it's very close to the end. It's close to Shell Beach. Yeah. So, it'd be interesting to see what in the drought period now i would like to see know that too but i think it's, they, it's been a I, I don't know if we can call it a drought exactly yet Ooh, it's well, down yeah, about no it's yeah, drought it's, 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 it's down about full of warning in my barn since august it's, it's down 0.34 inches right. of water yeah it's yeah um, i mean what i'm not talking whether it's a technical drought or not i mean the conditions have radically yeah, changed we were like oh we have so much water what are you going to do with it now it's like Turn the closet off. Can you see if you could see if you could test the one in Silver Beach? You get, get in touch with them for because that that I don't know what when they put it in. It wasn't that long ago, summer or something, or maybe mm -hmm. early spring. And then maybe they did one then, and we can get one now. Where, where is that well? Well, we 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 asked for one to be put in. We contacted the. Yeah, I know. Where, where is it located? It's down by the Bird Sanctuary. I don't know where the Bird Sanctuary. Um, it's a little plot of land that the Silver Beach Association owns. It's seven acres, and it's it's close to Shell Beach, like like on the point tennis where you court. come at tennis court. Yeah, it used to be a tennis court. Well, it was supposed to be the tennis courts. It was supposed to be a football. Field. It was a football. It's field actually field. on the peninsula. It's close. No, it's to on Shell it's Beach. on uh, North Silver it's Beach on, Road. Yeah, that's right. Now, and it kind of is bordered by. Um, 
Connick and no, no. Brander. Right. Well, it's Tennis Court Lane, <laughs> which is a paper road essentially. Yes, I know. And then, what you're and then about. there's um, East, the, the uh, South uh, South the White South. Birch. White Birch. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I, I knew it. <laughs> we, we call it the Birch Sanctuary. I don't know. It's just all <clears throat> <clears throat> Some people call it the Virgin Forest. <laughs> when I was a kid, it was all burned. You know, really? you could see the water all the way around. Wow. And they, they were only like 15 houses, so so the water was very able to see. You can see if WAC can add it to their list of tests. Yeah. Well, it'd be, it'd be interesting to see, you know. It's, it's another good spot. Yeah. Anyway, so now what's your favorite motion? <laughs> I make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> Second. All in favor? So I have a question for you. Um, on 